Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've done our prerequisites. We've visited all five different Prudy schools, and we're moving on to a Strixhaven School of Mages set booster box. Um, so I've opened about 35 packs, 10 random ones, um, five out of each pre-release kit, and I pulled one foil mystical archive card. Um, oh yeah, the hammock. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, it was a village rights. Nothing, nothing too wild, but... I don't know how rare those are going to be. Imagine getting like a mythic or even a rare one. Oh, we got art cards. Okay. So we're going to look for a gold stamp. Dragon Guard. Okay. Basic Mountain. So now these ones are going to have to kind of like pay attention because they, they slide cards in. Um... Or they did. I, I'm not a huge fan of these. I wanted to give it a shot again here. Because um, you can get like a couple rares in a pack. Retriever Phoenix. So you can discard it. Okay. If you learn instead, get it back. And a memory lapse. Um, amazing art. First time I've seen this. Foil Fracture, and a Fractal Token. So no set cards yet. Uh, and I'm curious, when, you know, set cards are from the list. If they update the list, the list of each set, like with Kaldheim, they did some few different cards, and then now that we're doing a school set, some sort of dragon there, huh? Shadrick's Silver Quill, the black and white Elder Dragon, I'm going to guess. Um, lands, I don't know. Yeah, see, you know, that's, that's what I was saying. We have an uncommon right in the front of the pack here. A Grinning Ignis. Seems very common to set, actually. I've seen a bunch of them. So we're just hitting Snow Day. <laughs> this pack is just full of uncommons. Spell Satchel. Uh, remove a book counter to add a mana. Move three, pay three, tap, draw card. Double Strike, a Freet. In a shock. Were they foils or foil in every pack? I don't even remember. Dark Cruiser gets trampled. That's not bad. Tramples. Surprise tramples. Not bad. Really, uh. Oh. No, we're not. There we go. Make sure, make sure the box is in the view of the camera. So no one thinks we're pulling any shenanigans here. And. I don't know about these art cards. Um. Lands are cool. Not great. I've become such a fan. Some of these sets have so many uh, just really exciting full art or different art or different frame lands. It's just... So we have a set card back there. Whenever an opponent casts or copies an instant or short... I think it was a life. Okay, that's interesting. Access tunnel. Sedgemore Witch. Menace. Ward pay three life. Oh, wow. They have to pay three life to target it. If you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, make a black and white green pest creature. Huh. That's pretty cool. Seems interesting. Strategic planning. One in your hand, the rest in your graveyard. That's not bad. Different. Now I'm seeing a lot of different um, Mystical Archive cards that I haven't seen yet. <laughs> These first three packs. Triplicate. Yeah. Yeah. I think that one's been floating around in every set booster box that's come out so far. Probably one each, every single one. And if you ever see a video, the set booster box, it's probably got a triplicate spirits in it. I don't even know what's going on here. Is that a land? It's a forest. Yep. It's a forest. I guess that's the up way. You got a foil mountain. And all right. Commons, Decisive Denial. This is the third, third one of these I pulled. This has to be the most common mythic in the set. I was so excited the first time. Now it's just like, oh boy. Um, Gift of Estates. I've seen this. Good card. Not hating on it. 
uh, foil, weather bloom apprentice, and still nothing out of the set slot. And we're four packs in. So this, this is getting a little disconcerting. Oh, oh, we got gold. The golden ticket. You get to go to what? No. One of four set boosters contains. Um, well, that's not true. I just, this is a fifth pack. Hopefully this, uh, this has one in it. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, wizards. You guys are crazy. Oh, I'm almost knocking the camera over. I'm so excited to get my set, my first set card in the fifth pack. Uh, they're all just, it's in the clump zone. You guys remember the clump zone, right? That's where all the fun happens. Zephyr boots. Draw a card. Wow. Calling end. That's pretty cool. Calling ritual. Destroy each and all end permanent with a mana value two or less. Add a red. Oh, wow. That's awesome. In every deck. And Divine Gambit. The most common mystical archive card you will ever see in your life. Pest. And still nothing out of the set slot. Man, this is, uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I, it's, that's the worst part. You don't even know what's in this set slot. You don't even know what you're going to get. That's cool. That is some cool art. So one thing about the art cards, even if you don't pull the super mythic card you want to get, at least you can see the art on it up close and in person and enjoy it. So that's, I, that's always been a big part of the game for me is just the art. It just pulls you into that world. Semester's end, that's nothing amazing. Whirlwind denial. For each spell, for each spell and ability. Um that's cool. Um tap scry for four is not good. If you're paying four to scry, you are not winning that game. Um I'd I'd put money on it. <laughs> maybe you should too, and maybe think of something else to do with your time. I don't know, man. That just it's, it's stupid. I guess it's better than having the uh, scry lands back, but <sighs> almost like a slap in the face. Just put a regular land there. Oh, we got a yeah. You see it. You know. You know we got foils back there. We got foils every pack so far. Elite spellbinder. Okay. Target opponent's hand. Non land card. Oh. That's whatever. Mythic. Demonic Tutor. Wow. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, I wish it was foil, but wow. Iconic card. What a big pull. All right. All right. Cool. I mean, if it's a foil for it. Yeah. If it's a foil one, you're paying for it. It's okay. And a treasure token. Wow. Okay. So we got a Demonic Tutor. Mystical Archive. That's a pretty big pull. Um, that might be the best card we get out of this box. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because, yeah, it's not reprinted at all. Okay, this one might have nuclear access codes in it. Nope. Okay, got it open. So, there's no promo or advertisement card. I'm thinking we got a set card, finally. First one. We're like six or seven packs in. Which, you know what they say. Oh, no, we got, I guess, triplicate spirits counts. Does it? I don't know. That really, every time I see that, like, just take it out. Um, That's cool. It's always nice having options. Claim the firstborn. That's pretty cool. Reflective golem foils. Uh, and a Fomori Nomad. 4-4 four, four vanilla for five. At least it's got the time spiral art, so there's something pretty cool about it. Um, are we going Boros themed on our set cards? I don't know. It's possible. So, when opening these packs, I guess if you have that Magic the Gathering... Um, oh, that looks cool. Magic the Gathering back, that it will be your set card. So, if you're doing videos, just keep that in mind. So, an uncommon, a common... Common. That's cool art. Secret rendezvous. You and target opponent each draw three cards. That's my, uh, was that Scottish? I don't even know what that was. 
Another a freight. Selfless Glyph Weaver. That's cool. You can give all yourself an indestructible. Eliminate. Oh, okay. Choose a creature, plan to and destroy all other creatures. That's cool, too. They're both cool. I like both those sides of the card. Um, eliminate. I don't think that's a very good card. Oh, a foil in the gate. Okay, so we got a foil missile archive and a demonic tutor. I want to bring that back up because I just think these things just look so cool in foil. I mean, look at that. And this, this is cool because it's really a playable card. It's not amazing, but it's not something you're just going to say, oh, cool, it's going to sit in a binder for a collector or, you know, like a Divine Gambit. Like, I don't know. Has anyone really figured out a way to play that and make it work? If you have, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know. That's really cool. What's your name? Igor Biomathematician. Wow, I just noticed gold stamp. Didn't even see it down there. Yeah, and now it's worthless. We'll get at that later. Rare. First first card in. An opponent has more cards in hand than you. Draw two cards. Draw three cards instead of an opponent has at least four more cards than you. That's uh, very situational, but... Is mana costing that three? I guess that's not bad. We'll allow it. We'll allow it. Um, ooh, lightning bolt. I'm a I'm, baleful mastery. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's a nice removal. You can pay a uh, black and color this rather than four. Uh, your opponent can draw a card if this cost is paid. So you could draw a counter spell depending on what kind of opponent you're playing. That's cool. Like, imagine getting Adam Foil, but it's the lightning bolt iconic magic card. I love it. And yep, yeah, so really nothing out of the set slot. We still have almost two thirds of this box to go. It's just these these ones are a little tougher to uh, do at a higher speed. Wow, what is what is that? That is some interesting tendrils of agony. Wow, that's got to be mystical archive, um, foil island. We've got a couple foil lands so far. Um, it's just tough with the uh, commons and if you're really sorting the cards as you go truly zip through these just because um flunk x is seven minus <laughs> god fourth i got a play set of this card today just so everyone knows whether the storm second time i've seen this we got our foil rare cody vociferous codex you can't cast permanent spells uh pay for tap to add one of each color so you exile instant or sorcery card with lesser. That's weird. And Desolation Angel. That's probably going to count for our rare um, set booster slot. If you pay the kicker cost, destroy all land. It's, yeah, I don't know. Iconic card. Sure. And if you're blowing all the lands up and you have a big giant angel and no one else does anything, you're in good shape. But I don't know. A little disappointing if that's our rare. Just saying it. And it has the rare rare logo, symbol, gold on there. So it's generally the set cards work just the same way as Shine Shadow Snarl. Which I didn't even know there's a rare uh, land cycle. It's into my last pre-release kit. Defiant Strike. Draw a card. Mentor's Guidance. Okay, token. So, remember, Demonic Tutor, Mystical Archive. Don't be in the negatives. We did pretty good there. That is super cool. Um, Thrill of Possibility. That's some cool art. I'm trying to... But uncommon. Double. Power and Traction. So, that's cool if you're like... I mean, it's so expensive. I was going to say it's cool, but a lot of man you can you're not gonna have enough to put anything on it to make it even bigger secret rendezvous that's cool for commander uh rip apart semester's end is i don't think cool valen valentin dina vane menace lifelink vampire warlock die exile instead when you do you can pay two make a black green pest and you gain a life 
Village rights. Sounds cool. Whenever you gain life, you can pay one if you do. But each creature you control, they get trampled. That's pretty cool. I like those. Those flip cards seem pretty cool to me. Village rights, and we have a foil. Skittered Colony, and a list of something or other. I don't really, don't really feel like reading or looking at it because it seems like a waste of cardboard that could have been a Mystical Archive or something. That's cool. Land. Common. Common, 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 common. Go blank. Uh... I swear I studied. Then exile. Ugh. That's not good. Conspiracy theorist. Tax and pay one to discard a card if you draw a card. If you do, you may cast it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Day of Judgment. All right, mythic. Another mythic. Uh, okay. So doing pretty good on the Mystical Archive slot. I mean, with the mythics to get, this one's not great, but it's iconic card. Um, this must not become common knowledge. The consequences of such a spell are too great. Lock it away in the restricted archive and destroy its records in the catalog. Director Tavia, the Isabel. Isabel? Isabel. I don't know how to say it. Elemental. Horse, dog, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I think we're hitting like the halfway mark here. Yeah, two mythic mystical archives. It kind of looks like Karavik, no? Plarg, Dean of Chaos. Oh, Karavek, Plarg, maybe they're brothers. Um, common, 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 common. No! And we destroyed all the value in the back of that pack. Our foil mystical archive just got bent in half when it fell. Um, uncommon, Wither Bruin Command, Thrill of Possibility, nothing exciting there. That's kind of cool. Uh oh, cool. The peacock nobody ever asked for or wanted. Not even going to talk about it. <laughs> uh, neither is she. Unbelievable. Reduce to memory. Exile that, that peacock. I want to see it again. They really do need to update this, uh, this list. I think, because that card does not need to be on it. Ignis, that's cool. I would have rather got another Grinning Ignis to go with the 15 Grinning Ignises I have. That was the original border than that Peacock. Snakeskin Veil. That's cool. Reduced to memory. That's cool foil. I don't know, man. Some of the stuff, like, it's just brutal. Whenever a coveted peacock attacks, you may go target creature defending player control. I had to read it out loud. He can't even believe it. Look at his face. Foil forest. Might get a one of each foil land. I guess that'd be kind of cool, huh? That's cool. So you get like multiple foils in a pack too. So the lands aren't taking the foil slot. So that's a that's a positive. I will you gotta take the good or the bad. Spirits get plus one plus oh. Remember, cards of your graveyard, you get a 3 2 red white spirit creature token. Magma Opus. This one seems pretty cool to me. A lot of stuff going on. Or you can just discard it and make a treasure token. Duress. Classically played magic card. Exhilarating Elocution. Other creature you can tell. That's cool. Okay. We got two rares. Then just the battlefield tapped. Domain. At X mana of any combination of colors to your mana pool, or X is the number of basic land types among lands you control. <sighs> it's from Commander. It's, it's fine. It's different. It's interesting. It's part of magic history. I can't hate on that. That's cool. And we got two. So we got two foil rares. And Demonic Tutor. Mystical Archive. Remind yourselves. And Day of Judgment. Mythical Archive. Mystic. Spell Satchel. Vin, Vine Glimmer Snarl. So this, this is one of those reveal ones. Like if you reveal the Forest Day Island, it comes to play untapped. Pretty cool. Not the best. 
Putrefy. Artifact or creature. It cannot be regenerated. That's pretty sweet. That's a solid pool. You're going to a solid pool pile up there. Foil common, for example. So we're just about to hit the third, third of the way mark. Looks like it might be about a half an hour video. Sorry about the length. Just these set boosters, like I said, with the uh, the sorting makes it. I guess I could just rip through it next time I do one. Um, slap them all together. The commons and commons really doesn't matter. And another shine shadow snarl. Jadazi Oracle. Okay, another mythic. That's cool. That's a lot of, a lot, a lot of going on there. I like this side a little better though. Definitely a cool card. Revitalize. Gain three life. Draw a card. Not necessary. I I twitch. I twitch. I toy with my eye twitch. Um. Maybe, imagine if we pulled another another mystical archive bomb. That would be, or something out of the set slot. Like they actually counted those other cards as commons, and we get a real good rare. You know, eventually there's some people out there love pre the prismatic geoscope. And like, what are you talking about? It's the best card ever. And like, yeah, okay. Commanders quarters maybe I don't know. Um. Choose up the two non-land permanents they control and return them to their hand. Oh, wow. Eh, yeah. I can see that being played. Inquisition of Kozilek. All right. That's awesome. Getting some good uh, mystical archives. I will say that. So it seems like the sorting in the boxes is way better than random packs. Um, so I did a bunch of pre-release uh, kits and... A lot of duplication there. Is that like an elephant? That's super cool. What is that? Oh, Magma Opus. I don't even, ah, that's weird. The blue red card have an elephant on it. Eh, whatever. Foil Swamp. Commons. Uncommon. Uncommon. Zephyr Boots are pretty cool. The Library of Alexandria. That's not nearly as good. Puts you in the wrong pile. Duress. Foil. Oh, Muscle Sliver. Ha! Huh, that's funny. I just built a Sliver deck. That's cool. It's old art. I don't have any of these Slivers in it. Maybe I will. I don't know. I feel like you don't need to buff them up if you have enough out. Right? If they're going to die, they're going to die. Like, giving them plus one, plus one is not going to, like, harness infinity. Seb McKinnon, of course. Should have known. Man, I don't even know what that card does. It's got to be epic. Sebekin, amazing artist. So like I said, that's a cool thing with those like art art cards. You get to see these cards you might not have ever seen before. Vernant Mastery. Four, four basic lands, one tapped. They're in a opponent's control. Ugh. That's cool if you just pay the regular price. Uh, Dina Substance. I've seen her before. Adventurous Impulse. Foil Common. Tocane. All right. So we're into the last third of the box. Digging deep. Look at his tusks. Rare, right in the front. Illuminate History. Oh, I've seen that card. This card, I thought that was going to be cool, and I pulled a bunch of them. I got about a play set of those if anybody needs one. Um, uncommon. Uncommon. Dramatic Finale. Steve Argyle, another amazing artist. Creature tokens get plus one, plus one. Whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die, you get a 2-1 white and black inkling. It only triggers once each turn. They've been doing a lot of that, too, where it's like back in the day, it would just, oh, if you had a bunch of regular creatures die, you get a bunch of tokens. That kills it. Tezzeret's Gambit. Nobody asked for that. Symmetry Sage. Foil. Elemental. Oh, knocking over my commons there. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's a solid box. I don't think it's a, a, I don't think it's a home run. I don't, know, I don't know how big a deal that Demonic Tutor is. Um... Owl. He's so smart. 
Um, maybe it's a big deal. I think if it was foil, I'd be like jumping up and down. Quadrix Command, choose more. Wandering Archaic. God's Willing, rare. Target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Scry one. Cool art, but just like bad card. Come on, guys. Come on, wizards. You know what good cards are. You should know. I mean, you know what the secondary market is, but you know what it is. Same thing. Don't 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 be wasting our cardboard and time with these, these cards that nobody's gonna play with. Come on. Ugh. Rushed Rebirth. When that creature dies this turn, search your library for a creature card, lesser man. That's that's a cool card. Opt. That's a cool card. Kingsman Pet. Not a cool card. Come on. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little, a little heated. I'm never a big fan of these set boosters, but I just wanted to do it like I could do it pre release weekend, get it open, kind of get, get some content out there. I know I've been a little, a little lax, still working on the uh, Git Trog deck there. Um, collector box will be interesting, that's for sure. Multiple choice. Yeah. Brainstorm. Is that a rare? Is that a rare still? I mean, it's cool, but... Eh, eh. Yeah. Hall monitor. That's cool. Because it's a school, and there's a hall monitor. That's why. That's cool looking. What do we got? Who do we got here? Prismari Command. I got a common pile over here. Oh, so much better. Oh, we might have an artifact back there from the list. Explosive Welcome. Fury Calm Snarl. That's cool. So I think I've hit like three of these. Cultivate. Okay. First time I've seen this. I like that. You'd be amazed how much a single plant has to teach you. Blood Age General. Phyrexian Tower. Okay. That's cool. I was just bashing on the list. Wow. Okay. I really... Jeez, that's cool. Okay. I, I, I don't... I'll bite my tongue. Um, <laughs> original art Phyrexian Tower from the list. That's That's pretty sweet. I'm just, yeah, I just knocked the camera from the excitement. What are you going to do? That's what happens. You get excited, things start getting knocked around. My piles got knocked around. Got a fraction tower. All right. Got a mountain. Back in this. New common pile. Really just changed things around um, once I started putting the commons over on the right side. It's amazing. But one little change in your life can do. Storm can. Okay. Draconic Intervention. Exile an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. X damage each non-dragon creature where X is the exile card's mana value. Exile it. X damage each non-dragon. That's interesting. Dragon Tribal. Pestilent Cauldron. Uh, each opponent mills cards equal to the amount of life you've gained. Exile four target cards from a single graveyard. Each opponent... Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. I mean, put that with uh, Aether Flux Reservoir. No one's watching this long anyway. Give it your hand. Each player gains four life. That's pretty cool. Stone Rain, definitely not a rare. Cool art. Iconic card, not a rare. That's, come on. It's cool. It's cool, but it's not cool. That's foil. That. All right, two packs left. Uh, to anyone who's stuck with me this long, appreciate it. Appreciate the love. Oh, we might have another little uh, little set surprise back here. What is that? That Magneto? Urza's Rage. That's pretty cool. Foil Plains. I think we got a play set of foil uh, basic lands, too. That's pretty cool. Aquatic Fumes. That's, that's cool. Soothsay. 
Yeah, we're getting there. So we got common land cycle, we got rare land cycles, we got Phyrexian Towers in this in the list slot. Vanishing Verse. Exile target monocolor permanent. That's not bad. Not great. Shock. Moldering Karok. <laughs> Noggle Hedge Mage. When it comes into play, if you control two more islands, you may tap two permanents. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got a Phyrexian Tower. <laughs> At last back. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Some of the cards they put in here, I don't know. It's boggle the mind. Owl. All right. Can we get something super spicy in the clothes? I mean, I think we did some pretty solid card pulling in this box so far anyway. We got... Demonic Tutor, Mystical Archive. They have Judgment, Mystical Archive. Phyrexian Tower set card. Um, Volumacus Lorehold, the Boros Elder Dragon. Uh, top seven cards of your library. Cast Instant or Sorcery Spell. Uh, put the rest in the oh, That's sort of cool. But you have to like... It, oh my god! And we got a Time Warp. Wow. That is amazing. Okay. Yeah, this just, I think this just put us over the top. Three mythic, mystical archive cards. Wow. I can't even, that's, yeah. <clears throat> wow, study break and a spirit. I guess, yeah, the saying, sure, you, you go big or you go home. And I think we went big today. Um, good luck with this pre release weekend. I hope you all get some amazing pulls. Um, I don't know if you want Cody or Ecological, but there's definitely some good stuff to be got in this set. I mean, we got Detruder, Day of Judgment, and Time Warp. So, yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend. Enjoy Strixhaven. Enjoy playing Magic. Enjoy your lives. Don't let the world get you down. We're going in a better direction. Uh, until next time, this is Jeremy with East Coast EDH signing off.